Hello guys, it's me, Brandon Lee, and we're back with another YouTube video. So, like on the last video, we did this. So now, let's go and continue. Okay, let's go here. Get some volume on that. We're asked to select three ratios that are equivalent to seven to six. So pause this video and see if you can spot the three ratios that are equivalent to seven to six. Okay, so like you said, pause the video and try to figure it out yourself. Well, I'm going to this. Bum. Okay. Let's go. Select three ratios that are equivalent to seven to six. Okay. Like in the first video or the video I made last time, it said it said ratios are just like fractions. You can make them bigger and you can make them smaller. So let's see. Let's see. The first one is twelve to fourteen. It goes to E, so let's do that. Okay, so twenty one to eighteen. Forty-two to thirty-six. Sixty-three to fifty-four. Eighty-four to sixty-two. Okay, so. We can either make 7 to 6 bigger or smaller. So can we make it any smaller? Can you divide this by any number to make it smaller? And it's a natural number, so there's no decimals? Okay, so. Can you make this smaller? No. So the, the only thing we can do is make it bigger. So let's just go by adding... Or let's just mo let's just go through this is how I would do it. First, I would say that the six does not exist. So this does not exist. Then I would just go and write down all the multiples of seven. Fourteen. Twenty one. Twenty eight. Thirty five. Forty two. Forty-nine, and so on. Then, I would add back the six. I would add back the six. And then, I would say, okay, now there's no more sevens. Now, I'll write the multiples of six. Six, twelve, eighteen. 24, 20, 30, I mean, sorry, 36, and 42. Then I would go back and say, okay, now the 7 exists again. So put back the 7, and then you got the thing. Now, what you would notice is. There's 21 and 18 right here, okay? So I will check that. All of them is pretty much... Oh, yeah, this one works too. And 
another one works. So check that. And yeah, so what you basically do is just look at this number. First, look at the number. Is it divisible by seven? If it's not, then the answer is wrong. Okay. If it is, go to the second number. Is that divisible by six? So let's just do that. We have to look into these and see if it's divisible by these numbers. So the one on the right, one on the left has to be divisible by seven and the right, the one on the right has to be divisible by six. So now that's wrong. It can't be the answer. Is this divisible by seven? Yes. Is this divisible by six? Yes. Okay, but wait, that doesn't mean it's correct. Do you know why? Because it could say 14 to 18, and that's not one of them. So what we have to do is then, okay, so, okay, so it's correct. It's correct. So now, we divide this number right here by 7 and see how many times. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. So there's a 3 here. Then we do the same for this 18. 18 divided by 6. How many, what is 18 divided by 6? Well, that's 3. If they're the same, if they're equal, then that's the correct answer. So, B is correct. Same as 42. You do the same thing. 42 divided by 7. That's 6. 36 divided by 6. That's 6. They're the same. Okay, then that's correct. Let's color that in green. Okay. 63. Is that divisible by 7? Yes, it is. Because 7 times 9 is 63. 54, is that divisible by 6? Yes, 6 times 9 is 54. So 63 divided by 7 is 9. 54 divided by 6 is also 9. And these two answers are the same. So it's also correct. Now let's see the last one. Is this divisible by 7? Yes, it is. How about this? Is 62 divided by 6? Well, it's not. So that is wrong. So the answers are B, C, and D. All right, now let's work through this together. And the main thing to realize about equivalent ratios is we just have to multiply or divide the corresponding parts of the ratio by the same amount. So before I even look at these choices, for example, if I have 7 to 6, if I multiply the 7 times 2, to get 14, then I would also multiply the 6 times 2 to get 12. So for example, 14 to 12 is the exact same ratio. Now you might be tempted to pick 12 to 14, but that is not the same ratio. Order matters in a ratio. This could be the ratio of oranges to apples. And we're saying for every seven oranges, there are six apples. You wouldn't be able to say it the other way around. So you would rule this one out, even though it's dealing with some of the right numbers. It's not in the right order. Now let's think about 21 to 18. To go from 7 to 21, we would multiply by 3. And to go from 6 to 18, you would also multiply by 3. So that works. If we multiply both of these numbers by 3, we get 21 to 18. So let me circle that in. That one is for sure equivalent. What about 42 to 36? Well, to go from 7 to 42, we're going to have to multiply by 6. And to go from 6 to 36, we also multiply by 6. So this, once again, is an equivalent ratio. We multiply each of these by 6, and we keep the same order. So that is equivalent right over there. 63 to 54. Let's see, to go from 7 to 63, you multiply by 9. And to go from 6 to 54, you also multiply by 9. So once again, 63 to 54 is an equivalent ratio. And so we've already selected 3, but let's just verify that this doesn't work. So to go from 7 to 84, you would multiply by 12. 
to, to go, go from, from 6 to 62, oh, you multiply by 10 and 2 6 or 10 and a, a third, so this one is definitely not an equivalent ratio. Let's do another example. So once again, we are asked to select three ratios that are equivalent to 16 to 12. So pause this video and see if you can work through it. All right, let's look at this. Okay, so it's another one. It's the same thing like we did over here, okay? So this time, uh, I won't, I won't, I will super fast. So you can re-watch the first one I did, but this one I'm going to be going very fast, okay? Okay, so let's get started. So we have to get equivalent to 16 and 12. The numbers are 8, 6. For A, okay. 32, 6, 32, 24. 4 to 3. 12 to 8. And 24 to 16. Okay, so first let's go to 8 and 6. Well, you just divide by 2. Perfect, it works. Okay, how about 32 and 24? Well, you just multiply it by 2, so that also works. Oh. How about 4 and 3? Well, you divide by 4 on both sides, so that also works. Or you can just divide this by 2. And that, that works. works. How about 12 and 8? Well, there's no way you can get 12. Well, you can. You can add these two, which make 12. But then this has to be a 9. So that does not work. How about 24 and 16? Well, it, you can't. You can get. Wait, let me think. But look, think about it. Uh, if, if you do this, it makes it 12. Then you can get 24, but that will be 18. So that doesn't work. work. Right? And you can think about it like this, 4 to 3. Times 6, times 6, and it needs to be an 18. So that does not work. Boom, boom. So it's A, B, and C. So 8 to 6. So, so first, first you might say, well, gee, these, these numbers, numbers are smaller than 16 and 12. But remember, you can, to get an equivalent ratio, you can multiply or divide these numbers by the yes. same number. So, so to get from 16 to 8, you could view that as, well, we just divide by 2. And to go from 12 to 6, you also divide by 2. So this actually is an equivalent ratio. I'll circle that in. What about 32 to 24? Well, well, to go from, from 16 to 32, we multiply by 2. To go from 12 to 24, we also multiply by 2. So this is an equivalent ratio. What about 4 to 3? Well, to go from 16 to 4, we would have to divide by 4. And to go from 12 to 3, we are going to divide by 4 as well. So we're dividing by the same thing, each of these numbers. So this is also going to be an equivalent ratio. So we've selected our three, so we are essentially done. But we might as well see why these don't work. Now let's think about it. To go from 16 to 12, how do we do that? Well, to go from 16 to 12, you could divide by 4 and multiply by 3. So this would be times... Three fourths. But then you also have to do that with the twelve. But that won't work because twelve divided by four is three times three is nine. That's not. We get twelve. 
And to go from 12 to 8, so you could divide by 3 and multiply by 2. So this you could do as times 2 thirds. So you'd be multiplying or dividing by different numbers here. So this one is not equivalent. And then 24 to 16. To go from 16 to 24, we could multiply by, let's see, that's 1 and a half. So this right over here would be you'd multiply by... One and a half. And to go from 12 to 16, you would multiply, that is, by one and one third. So times one and one third. So you're not multiplying by the same amount. So once again, not an equivalent ratio. Okay. Perfect. Quite straightforward, right? So right over here, we have the recipe for super cake which you, you want, want to make for your guests, guests that are coming, coming over for dinner, dinner tonight. tonight. But, but this, this recipe right, right over here, here this, this is for 32, 32 people. people. This, this would serve 32 folks. But, but you, you only have 16 guests, guests coming over. over. So, so if, if you only have 16, 16 guests coming over, over what, what should be your ingredients here? How, how much of each of these ingredients should you have? And I encourage you to pause the video and think about it. Okay, so I don't really think I need to write about this, but this right here is an ingredient for 32 people. But only 16 people are coming. So, and 16 is half of 32. So all of these ingredients should be half, if you think about it logically. So what I would say is it divide by four. So there's going to be four eggs. Six, Six cups, cups of flour, flour divide, divide by two. Divide by two, by two I mean, mean for a day. So, so I, I, I think, think you should, should stop, stop at two. two. But, but yeah, yeah. it's, it's going to be four eggs, three cups, cups of flour, three cups of sugar, sugar one cup of butter, butter three teaspoons of baking soda, and one, one cup, cup of water. water. That's, That's what, what I think. But tell me what you guys would think in the comment section below. All right. All right. So, so right, right now, now we're going to think about, about well, we're going to have a slightly smaller super cake. cake. Smaller super super cake. cake. And you and might, might have reasoned, reasoned that, that look, if we're, we're going to have half as many guests, guests then each, each of the ingredients, ingredients we should just have half as much. much. And, and you would be right. right. Instead, Instead of eight eggs, eggs for our smaller, smaller super cake, cake you, you could have four eggs. Instead of six cups of flour in our smaller super cake, you could have three cups of flour. Instead of six cups of sugar, you could have three cups of sugar. I'm just taking half of each of these numbers. Instead of two cups of butter, you could have one cup of butter. Instead of six teaspoons of baking soda, you could have three teaspoons of baking soda. And last but not least, instead of two cups of water, you could have one cup of water. Now, now, this, this will work, work, and this, this is, is actually how you should adjust recipes. recipes. But, there's but there's something interesting about what's similar about these two recipes. recipes. The, the recipe for the main super cake that feeds 32 people, and the recipe for the smaller super cake. And, and that's, that's the notion of ratios. ratios. The ratios between ingredients, or the ratio of how much of an ingredient you need for a given guest. guest. So, so for example, uh, because uh, you see, see because, because thirty-two, uh, thirty-two to sixteen, to sixteen. If you keep, keep breaking, breaking it down, sixteen to eight, eight to four, four to two, two to one. The answer is two to one. And, and let's, let's see, eight, eight eggs. eggs. Eight, and, and it becomes, becomes four, four eggs, right? right? To four. What, what is, is that? that? It's, it's right, right here. here. It goes, goes down to two to, two to one. one. How about, How about six, six cups, cups of flour? flour? Six, six to three. three. Well, well divide, divide by three on this side. Wait. Wait. Divide, divide by three on this side would be two. And three on this side would be one. Two to one. Two to one. Two to one. How about two, two cups, cups of butter? butter. Two, then it becomes one. one. See, it, it all makes sense. sense. It, it all goes, goes to two to one, one because you 
are half the size. size. You're dividing, dividing the two because, because there, there is, is half the number, number of guests, guests that, that will come because it, it, can, it can feed 32, 32 people. people. You, you can, can see here, here that, that for every eight, eight eggs, eggs, you, you have, have six, six cups, cups of flour. flour. So let me let write, write this down. down. So, so for every eight, eight eggs, eggs, we, we have, have six, six cups, cups of flour. flour. We, we have six cups of flour, flour which, which is, can, can be expressed, expressed as a ratio of the ratio of, of eggs to flour is, is eight to six. six. Then, then it becomes four to three. three. Once, Once again, again interpreted interpret it is for every eight, eight eggs, eggs, I have six cups of flour. flour. If, I if I said for every six cups, cups of flour, flour I, have I have eight eggs, eggs I would have written six to eight. eight. So, so the, the order, order here matters. matters. But here, here I'm saying the ratio of eggs to flour, of eggs to cups of flour, is eight to six. For every eight eggs, I have six cups of flour. Well, what about for the smaller cake? Well, here, for for every four eggs, for every four eggs, we have three cups of flour. We have three cups of flour. So what would this ratio be? Well, for every four eggs, we have three cups of flour. So the ratio of eggs to flour is four to three. Now it turns out that these are the exact same ratio. If you have you have eight, eight eggs for every six cups of flour, flour or, or for every eight eggs you have six cups of flour, that's, that's the same, same thing, thing as for every four eggs, eggs you have three cups of flour. flour. What you're, you're just, just doing is taking each, each of these numbers and you are, are dividing it by two. two. So, you so you can say, say the ratio in either case, case the ratio of eggs to flour, let me write this down, the ratio of eggs to cups of flour. Right. Two, two cups, cups of flour, flour. cups of flour, flour. In, in either case, case is, is four eggs for every three cups of flour. Of flour. This, this is, is going to be true for either, either recipe. recipe. You have, you the, have the same ratio. ratio. If, if you have, you have eight, eight eggs here, here so, so for every four, four eggs you have three cups of flour, flour. Well, that, that means, means you're going to have six cups of flour. And so, and this, so is this is why ratios, ratios are helpful. helpful. This, this recipe, recipe has a different number of eggs, a different number of cups of flour, a different uh, uh, number of cups of sugar, sugar but the, the ratios between the ingredients are the same. same. And, and so, so you will be able to have a cake that tastes the same, that essentially is the same cake, but just is a different size. Okay. 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 Whoa, we have so, so much practice, practice to do. do. What we're going to do in this video is tackle some word problems involving ratios. So here we're told that Yoda Soda is the intergalactic party drink that will have all of your friends saying, Mmm, good this is. You are, you are throwing, throwing a, party, a party, and you, and need, you need five liters of Yoda soda, soda for every 12 guests. guests. If, if you have 36 guests, guests how many liters of Yoda, Yoda soda do you need? need? So, so pause, pause this video, video and try to figure, figure it out, out on your own. own. Okay, okay, so... So it says... It says, it says you need... Uh, you, you need, need five, five liters? liters? Four twelve, 12 guests. guests, but, but it asks, asks it asks for, for thirty six guests. guests. So, so what, what we, we do, do is, is just, just multiply by, by three. three because, because twelve, 12 times, times three is, is well, well obviously, obviously thirty six. Kind of looks like nice. an S. And, and if, if we, we do, do it reverse, reverse 
we, we also, also have, have to multiply, multiply by, by three, three here, here, which, which makes, makes 15, 15 liters. liters. So, we, we need 15, 15 liters of Yoda, Yoda soda, soda because, because of Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yoda, Yoda soda to, to feed or like... To, 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 uh, 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 high degree, degree 36, 36 guests. Well, they, well, they tell, tell us the ratio, the ratio of, of liters of soda to number, number of guests. guests. So, you so you need five, five it's a five, five liters ratio. for every 12, 12 guests, guests is, is the ratio. The ratio. <laughs> but we so want to have 36 guests. guests. So, so if the ratio, the ratio is, is five liters, liters of soda, soda for every 12, 12 guests, guests. But, we're but we're in a situation, situation where we have 36 guests. guests. So this, so this is, is three, three times, times as many, many guests. guests. We're going to need three, three times, times as many liters of soda. soda. So, three so three times five is 15. Five, five to 12, 12 five, five liters, liters for 12 guests. guests. Or for five, five liters, liters for every 12, 12 guests is the same thing as 15, 15 liters, liters for every 36 guests. guests. So, to so to answer that question, how many liters do you need? You need 15 liters. Let's do another one of these. Here, Here, we just, we just have, have a picture, picture of a bunch, a bunch of, fish of fish in a tank. tank. And it says, it says there, there are eight, eight big, big fish, fish for every blank, blank small fish. fish. And, then and then it says there are four, four big fish for every blank, blank small, small fish. fish. So pause, pause this video here and, and see if you can, can work, work through this. this. Okay, so, so right, right now, now it, it says, says there are eight big fish for blank, for every blank small fish, okay? So first, first of, all, of all, let's, let's count, count how many big fish, fish there are. There are. There are. So, there's so there's one. one. All right. No. Let's count, count the big, the big fish, fish first. first. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. So, there so there are eight, eight big, big fish. fish. Wait, Wait, I should put that in there. There, there are eight, eight big, big fish. fish. And there, there are, are one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. There, there are. are. Hmm. How, do, How I do I do this? this? Oh, I there, there are, are ten, ten small, small fish. fish. Let me, Let me double, double check. check. Two, two, four, so six, six eight, eight, ten. ten. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the first, first answer. answer the blank, the blank is, is a, ten. a 10. Okay? okay. For, the For the second, second one, one, we just, we just reduce, reduce it. Because, because they, they want, want the... If, if there, there were only four. four. So, so we, we just, just divide, divide it by, by two. two. Because, because eight, eight divided, divided by two... two gives, gives us four. four. So we so also, we also have, have to do it here. here. Divided divide by, by two. That, that will give, give us... us Five. There. there. Perfect. Perfect. So, the, so second the second answer is five. five. Ten, Ten and, and five. five. There's one, one two, two, three. Wait, let me see. Count this way. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. So, so in, in this tank, tank there, there actually are eight, eight big fish. fish. And, so and so let's see how many small fish there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten small fish. So in the so tank, the tank for, every for every eight, eight big, big fish, which you see in red, red there, are there are ten, ten small fish. fish. But here but it says there are four, four big fish, fish for every blank, blank small, small fish. fish. So what would that be? be? Well, one well, way to think, think about it is we have half as many fish, we or half as many big fish, so we divide it by two. So we're going to have half as many small fish, so we're going to divide by two. So for every four big fish, there are five small fish. And one, and one way to think about it, you could divide, divide the fish, fish evenly into, into two groups, groups right, right here. here. So, so let's see if we can capture. So if you could have, this is, so if I divide, I divide it like, it like that, that, here I have one, one two, two, three, three four, four big, big fish, fish and one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five small fish. fish. Then in this, in this group, group I have one, one two, two, three, four big fish and one, two, three, four, five small fish. So every four big fish, there are five small fish. These are equivalent to ratios. Let's, Let's keep going. going. So, so here, here, we're told, we're told an ice cream, cream shop uses, uses the following ingredients to make, to make one sundae. sundae. So they, so they use two scoops of ice cream, four spoonfuls of sprinkles, two tablespoons of whipped cream. 
How many, How many Sundays, Sundays did the, did the shop, shop make, make if they, they used 32 spoonfuls of sprinkles? Of sprinkles. So, uh, so, so, just, just pause the video, video and, and then I'll tell you the answer. Three, three two, two, one. one. Okay, okay, so, so to, make to make one, one just, just one, one Sunday, Sunday, it takes. takes hmm, how how do I do this? Do this? Uh, I'll just, I'll just do, do I, I C, C S, S, S and w. w. I, I C, C S, S and, and w. w. Okay, okay so, so there, there are, are two, two scoops. 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 There, there are, are four, four spoonfuls, spoonfuls. I'll do this. this. And, and two, two tables, tables, tablespoons. tablespoons. How, How much, much spoonful of oh, oh, sprinkles? So, so we can, we ignore, can these, ignore these, and, and we, we only have, have to focus, focus on sprinkles. sprinkles. So, so let's, let's just reduce, reduce it to, to one, one Sunday. Sunday? Is four spoonfuls. Okay. okay. But, but we want, we want to, make to make 32. 32. But, but we're, we're going, going to use 32, 32 spoonfuls. spoonfuls. A sprinkles. So, so we, we have, have to, to multiply to make, to make it 32. 32. So what, so what is, is 32 divided by, by four? four? Come on. Come on. Okay. okay. It, it's eight. eight. So, so what, what we have, we have to, to do is times, times eight, eight on both, on both sides. sides. So, so we, need we need eight sprinkles. Uh, and, and that, that will become, become thirty-two sprinkles. Thirty-two sprinkles. So, so what, I'm what I'm thinking, thinking is, is since, since they times, times eight. eight they also, they also have, have to multiply, multiply the number, the number of, Sundays of Sundays by, by eight. eight. So, so I think, I think the, answer the answer is eight. eight. Sundays. I think that's, I think that's my, my answer. answer. I, 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 I think, think I'm, I'm wrong, wrong, but we'll, we'll see, see what, the, what answer the answer is. So pause, so pause the, video the video and, and try, try to think, think about, about it. About it. So there's, so there's a couple, a couple of ways, ways to think, to about, think about, it. about it. Here, it says, it says as you were talking about sprinkles, about sprinkles so, that's so that's what's relevant here. here. Four, four spoonfuls for every one, one Sunday. Sunday. So we could so we say, say that there, there so, so the ratio of spoonfuls, of spoonfuls to, Sundays to Sundays is four to one. one. Four, four spoonfuls, spoonfuls of sprinkles. Make me write this way. Sprinkles one. Sprinkles how many spoonfuls? How many spoonfuls per? One, one Sunday. Sunday. But, but here, here we're talking, we're talking about, about using 32 spoonfuls, spoonfuls of sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah. So that so is that eight, eight times, times as many. many. So you're so going to be able to use, use create, create eight, eight times, times as many, many Sundays. Sundays. So you're going to so have, gonna have 32, 32 spoonfuls of sprinkles for every eight, every eight Sundays. Sundays. So how many, so Sundays, how many Sundays did the shop make? make? Well, well, they made eight. Let's do one last example. At a, At dog, a dog park, park there, are there are ten, ten black, black dogs, dogs, five brown, brown dogs, dogs, two, two white, white dogs, dogs, and twelve, twelve multicolored dogs. dogs. For every, every one brown, brown dog, dog, there, there are, are two, two blank, blank dogs. dogs. Pause okay. The okay, so just, so just pause, pause the video. video. Ten, ten, nine, nine eight, 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 three, three two, two, one. one. Okay, okay, so, so what, I'm, I'm going, going to use color, color because, because it'll, it'll make it, make it a, little a little bit easier. easier. So there so are there ten, are ten black, black dogs, dogs, okay? okay? Wait. Wait. Hmm. How should I do this? Let me think. Thinking in progress. Okay, I'll okay, just I'll use this one. There, there are, are five, five brown, brown dogs. dogs. Okay. okay. I don't know 
Look at, look at there, there were, were five, five brown, brown dogs. dogs. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah red red for the multicolored. Two, Two white, white dogs. dogs. Mm, 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 mm. And, and 12, 12 multicolored, multicolored dogs. dogs. If there, if there were, were for every, For every one, one brown, brown dog, dog there, there are, are two, two blank, blank dogs. dogs. So what so type, what of, type dog of dog is it? Is it? So first, so first let's, let's, let let us, us make this, this to, to one, one because, because that's, that's what, what we're, we're asked. So, so what, what we did we here was, was we divide, we divide a D d it by, it by five. five. So, so ten, ten divided, divided by five, five is, two. is two. Oh well, oh, well it's, it's the answer is black, black dogs. dogs. Well, let's, well, let's just keep, keep on going. Two, two, two divided, divided by, five. by five. Well, we well, can't, can't do it, do it but, but if we did, did, it would be point, point five. five. Wait, 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 wait. That's not great. I think, I think it's point five. Thank you. Thank you. In progress. Yep. Yep. It's point five. Okay, okay, then, then 12, 12 divided, divided by, by 10, 10 5, 5 would, would be. be thinking, thinking in progress. In progress. Hey, Siri, hey Siri! What's, what's 12, 12 divided, divided by, by 5? 5? Okay. okay, Siri, Siri told me it's 2.4. 2. 2. 4. 4. I totally, I totally did, not did not use Siri. Use Siri. Trust, Trust me. me. And it has, it has two, two blank, blank dogs, dogs and, and this is this the is only, the only what, what is this? This, this is, this the, is only the only one. one. The, answer the answer is black, black, black dogs. dogs. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're we're gonna figure out what goes in this blank. blank. All right. All right. So let's see. Let's see. There's, There's five, five brown, brown dogs, dogs for every, for every ten, ten black, black dogs. dogs. Five, five brown, brown dogs, dogs for every two, two white, white dogs, dogs, and five, five brown, brown dogs, dogs for every twelve, 12 multicolored, multicolored dogs. dogs. But here, but here you're, you're saying, saying for every, for every one, one brown, brown dog, dog there, are there are two blank, blank dogs. dogs. So, so what type, what type of, of dog, dog is their ratio? Is there ratio? So, so for every brown dog, there's twice as many of that type of dog. Well, here we see for every five brown dogs, there are ten black dogs. dogs. So, one so one way to think about it, the number of black dogs, dogs is always going to be twice the number of, of brown dogs. dogs. So, for, so every for every one, one brown, brown dog, dog, there would there be would two, two, two black, black, two two black, black dogs. dogs. One way, one way to think about it, the ratio, the ratio between, between brown dogs, dogs and black and dogs, 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 and it's and kind of counterintuitive if I use the wrong colors, colors here, I should use brown and black. black. So let me so do, let that. do that. So, so the, ratio the ratio of brown to black, black is five brown dogs, brown dogs for every, for every ten, ten, ten black, black dogs. dogs. Or if or you divide both of these numbers by five, you would get one one brown, brown dog, dog for every, every two, two for every, for every two, two black, black dogs. dogs and that's, and exactly, that's exactly what this what statement, this statement is, saying. is saying nice okay, okay so, so in the next, next video, video our my next, my next math, math video, video i'm going, I'm going to, be to be watching this, this and i'll be, and I'll be finishing, finishing all the practice, practice. well, well Thanks, Thanks for, watching. for watching. Please like, Please and, like subscribe. and subscribe. Brandon, Brandon now.